The pain of loss can be overwhelming and sometimes unexpected. The death of a loved one has affected all of us and it helps to know you're not alone. That's right. And here in the Valley, there are groups that help those cope with loss. 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo sat in one of those groups to learn how they work through their grief. Well, thank you so much for coming today. And um, this is a regular grief support group. So what we'll do is go around and introduce um, yourself Four strangers meeting for the first time, sharing their personal stories in search for healing. When I walked in, um, she was sitting on the couch, slumped over with her eyes closed, and I touched her, and I knew in my heart, I knew in my heart, she was gone. Barbara Tappan lost her daughter to alcoholism. She lost her husband 10 months later. My wife had a heart attack, and then eight days later she died. Margaret McMillan was in mourning over the loss of her husband when she got the call that her nephew died by suicide. And Leah Jones lost her grandma and father around the same time. It's here in this group where they all began their journey to life after loss. They were brought together by a social network called Meetup. It's organized by Compassion Care Hospice here in the Valley. Groups are not necessarily for everyone, but it a lot of people can benefit from groups. They may have just come to a group for the first time because it was just hard to get up and get out of bed and go somewhere, but they've made that step. During these sessions, it's also an opportunity for others to learn how to comfort those dealing with grief. But for some in this group, there are certain special days that bring up those deep emotions all over again. He died three months before our anniversary, our 30th anniversary. And no one called me, and I thought, gee, it would have been nice to get a phone call. Groups like this are one of many healthy ways to deal with the pain. Coming to group and talking feelings through is helpful, and hearing other people's stories and knowing what they are. Dealing with grief can be a long emotional process. There is no timetable. For these four people, they're taking the process day by day. Alicia Batillo, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas. Yeah, it's really a good reminder that grief affects all of us differently. And so, you know, for some people, different days are going to hit differently or yeah. might take longer. Right. You know, to get and I have a lot of friends that experience grief and they say, oh, I feel silly talking about it again. Mm -hmm. They feel like they're bothering you. So this group is a lot of people with yeah. a common feeling. They can talk it out okay. and it seems like it's really helpful. We've listed all the resources and additional resources on our website at KTNV.com.